in video 15, Structural Metal. I've often heard people say things like, we just built a house west of the park. What they mean to say is that a team of people with tools built the house for them. Wood is not the only material used for building. These structural metals can be assembled using the tools we've covered in previous videos. We'll see some examples soon, but if you've ever played with Lego as a kid, you'll understand perfectly why structural metals are so popular. Like Lego, they are strong, easily reconfigurable, and have multiple attachment faces. It's important to know what these components are called and where to buy them. This is a 19-inch rack, a bud panel, DIN rail, structural aluminum, and unistrut. So let's start with unistrut, otherwise known as strut channel. It comes in several different metals and a few different colors and has a single attachment face. That is the side with the channel in which you drop in the nut that rotates 90 degrees as you're tightening the hardware. And strut channel is normally cut on a bandsaw. There are many brackets and gussets used for building floor standing or wall mounted structures. But the fundamental accessory of a strut channel is the nut. It's what makes unistrut so flexible. So here's an example of a water distribution system built with unistrut. So here's a close-up of the attachment face and a strut channel nut. Structural aluminum is a little more expensive, but it has multiple attachment faces and a few different cross-sectional sizes available in metric and inch. We're going to take a look at 45 by 45 millimeter extrusion. Once we've made that selection, the gussets and T-nuts have to just match that T-slot size. Each of these parts has a downloadable solid model, so you can design the entire structure without buying anything. This is MT Pro software from an extrusion manufacturer called Bosch Rexroth. Once you're happy, you order your parts, they come in, and you build it, just like Lego. This is an enclosure for preventing gas leaks during testing. Attached to the right side of that enclosure was an open 19-inch rack. If we type in the phrase 19-inch rack, we will find enclosed racks and these open frame relay racks. These are used in manufacturing, research labs, control rooms, and server farms. The vertical rails have pre-tapped holes that are arranged in units. This tall rack has 44 units. Each rack unit is 1.75 inches. And there are eight different bud panel sizes available, from 1U to 8U. Often screwed to a rack panel is another type of structural metal called DIN rail. The most popular type is 35 millimeter, also known as DIN 3. There is test equipment, power supplies, breakout boards, microcontroller mounts, and many other types of equipment that are DIN rail mountable. We will talk about CNC in video 16, but these panels are often drilled with CNC machinery for the DIN rails. And here's an example of the completed data acquisition rack. You can see the components mounted to the DIN rail and the 19 inch rack shelving. Our country currently has a shortage of people who know how to use hand tools and with fabrication skills. Don't you want to get paid to play with Lego? I hope you found this video helpful.